scientists have finally admitted that COVID-19 can cause hearing loss and tinnitus. My name is Dr. Ben Thompson, and I'm here to share this statement that was recently released by the biggest professional organizations in the United States, including the American Academy of Audiology, the American Speech Language Hearing Association, and the Academy of Doctors of Audiology, the three biggest professional organizations that represent hearing doctors and represent individuals with hearing conditions. This is a report from the end of April in 2021. And it's a report that was submitted to the House Energy and Commerce Committee and a subcommittee for health and hearing called the Long Haul, Forging a Path Through the Lingering Effects of COVID-19. Making this video to share with you, my audience, that professionals do care about the relationship between COVID and hearing loss, COVID and tinnitus. This opens a lot of questions, right? It opens a lot of questions. Let's learn about what they were describing. There's a strong correlation between COVID-19, hearing loss, and vestibular problems. The emerging research suggests a strong link between COVID-19 and hearing loss, including tinnitus. There was a study in England published in the International Journal of Audiology, which reviewed evidence from 24 different studies on the link between COVID-19 and hearing problems. Based on this systematic review, scientists estimate that 7% of people infected with COVID-19 experienced hearing loss. Again, 7% of people infected with COVID-19 experience hearing loss or changes to hearing. 15% uh, suffered tinnitus and 7% reported vertigo. This brings up a lot of questions for me, being a tinnitus audiologist, tinnitus specialist. Um, the authors of the study also identified an urgent need for more research of long-term effects of COVID on the auditory system. I wanna highlight some other important aspects of this for you that um, there was a lot of media and publicity around Kent Taylor, who was founder and CEO of Texas Roadhouse in the United States, who unfortunately, very sadly, took his own life after suffering from post-COVID related symptoms, one of them being severe ringing in the ears, tinnitus. And a statement issued by the family said that uh, Mr. Taylor fought the condition but the suffering that greatly intensified in recent days became unbearable. Uh, Mr. Taylor had recently committed to funding a clinical study to help members of the military who also suffer from tinnitus. The report goes on to share that audiologists are the professionals who diagnose and treat hearing loss, auditory processing disorders, tinnitus, and other auditory disorders. This was signed to bring awareness to the community of individuals who have tinnitus. And this committee came together to leverage the existing research and studies that were completed for tinnitus as an effect of COVID-19 and uh, raise awareness about it. Now, me personally, through Pure Tinnitus, I've worked with patients who have developed tinnitus as a result of COVID-19. I've also worked with patients who have developed tinnitus as a result of the COVID-19 vaccine. There's something about this virus that's affecting the ear. Is it an inflammatory response that's causing neuroinflammation of the auditory system? Is it some sort of a neurological infection that's affecting the eighth cranial nerve, which Im Im impacts hearing, uh, dizziness, vertigo, tinnitus? Uh, those kinds of questions will be pursued further by researchers. If you're watching this and maybe your tinnitus or your hearing has changed as a result of COVID-19, there are resources out there for you. Feel free to leave a comment. We'll do our best to help you. There are professionals who can help. There is support for you. If your hearing has changed significantly, I'm sorry. We're sorry that happened. There are things we can do. Technology, support, professional guidance. Go seek help. Get the help that's out there. If your tinnitus has changed as a result of COVID-19, follow what works for most people who develop tinnitus. 
Don't force it. Don't try to fight it. Use the videos on this channel as a reference. I'm Dr. Ben Thompson, audiologist, founder of Pure Tinnitus. I'm making this video to raise awareness about COVID-19 and tinnitus. So thank you for watching. Please like this video.